Mata Ama to the first Ananda Maya Deva, better known simply as Ama, Mother, is a Hindu spiritual leader and guru who is revered as a saint by her followers. Life Mata Ama to the first Ananda Maya is an Indian guru from Parayakadevu, Alapad Pankyat, Kolam district, in the state of Kerala. Born to a family of fishermen in 1953, she was the third child of Shogun Anandan and Damayanti. She has six siblings. As part of her chores, Ama to the first Tarnandamaya gathered food scraps from neighbors for her family's cows and goats, through which she was confronted with the intense poverty and suffering of others. She would bring these people food and clothing from her own home. Her family, which was not wealthy, scolded and punished her. Ama to the first Tarnandamaya also began to spontaneously embrace people to comfort them in their sorrow. Despite the reaction of her parents, Ama to the first Tarnanda Maya continued. Regarding her desire to embrace others, Ama to the first Tarnanda Maya commented, I don't need a Euro unregistered trademark TC if it is a man or a woman. I don't see anyone different from my own self. A continuous stream of love flows from me to all of creation. This is my inborn nature. The duty of a doctor is to treat patients. In the same way, my duty is to console those who are suffering. Ama to the first Tarnandamaya rejected numerous attempts by her parents to arrange for her marriage. Her life took a different path instead. In 1981, after spiritual seekers had begun residing at her parents' property in Parayakadevu in the hopes of becoming Ama to the first Tarnandamaya's disciples, the Mata Ama to the first Tarnandamaya Maf, a worldwide foundation, was founded. Ama to the first Tarnanda Maya continues to serve as chairperson of the math. Today the Mata Amrit and May math is engaged in many spiritual and charitable activities. In 1987, at the request of devotees, Ama to the first Tarnanda Maya began to conduct programs in countries throughout the world. She has done so annually ever since. In 2014, for the first time in history, major Anglican, Catholic, and Orthodox Christian leaders, as well as Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, and Buddhist leaders, met to sign a shared commitment against modern-day slavery organized by the Global Freedom Network. The declaration they signed calls for the elimination of slavery and human trafficking by the year 2020. In July 2015, Amrit Anandamayi delivered the keynote address at a United Nations Academic Impact Conference on Technology and Sustainable Development, co-hosted by Amrita University. The event was attended by delegates from 93 international universities. In Amrita Nandamaya's address, she requested the scientific community to infuse its research with awareness and compassion, stressing the importance of keeping the aim of uplifting the poor and suffering in mind when undertaking technological research. Darshan, Amrita to the first Tarnandamaya's form of giving Darshan is hugging people. As to how this began, Ama to the first Tarnandamaya said, People used to come and tell me their troubles. They would cry and I would wipe their tears. When they fell weeping into my lap, I used to hug them. Then the next person too wanted it. And so the habit picked up. Ama to the first Tarnandamaya has embraced more than 33 million people throughout the world for over 30 years. When asked, in 2002, to what extent she thought her embraces helped the ills of the world, Ama to the first Tarnandamaya replied. I don't need a Euro unregistered trademark to say I can do it 100%. Attempting to change the world, completely is like trying to straighten the curly tail of a dog. But society takes birth from people. So by affecting individuals, you can make changes in the society and, through it, in the world. You cannot change it but you can make changes. The fight in individual minds is responsible for the wars. So if you can touch people, you can touch the world. Ama to the first Tarnandamaya S. Darshan has been the centerpiece of her life, as she has received people nearly every day since the late 1970s. Given the size of the crowds coming to seek Ama to the first Tarnandamaya S. Blessings, there have been times when she has given Darshan for more than 20 continuous hours. Teachings, in the book The Timeless Path, Swami Ramakrishnananda Parai, one of Ama to the first Tarnandamaya's senior disciples, wrote, 
The spiritual path inculcated by Amma is the same as the one presented in the Vedas and recapitulated in subsequent traditional scriptures such as the Bhagavad Gita. Amma to the first Tarnandamaya herself says, Karma, action, Ja plus or minus Anna, knowledge and Bhakti, devotion are all essential. If the two wings of a bird are devotion and action, knowledge is its tail. Only with the help of all three can the bird soar into the heights. She accepts the various spiritual practices and prayers of all religions as but different methods toward the same goal of purifying the mind. Along these lines, she stresses the importance of meditation, performing actions as karma yoga, selfless service, and cultivating divine qualities such as compassion, patience, forgiveness, self-control, etc. Amma to the first Tarnandamaya has said that these practices refine the mind, preparing it to assimilate the ultimate truth, that one is not the physical body and mind, but the eternal, blissful consciousness that serves as the non-dual substratum of the universe. This understanding itself Amma to the first Tarnandamaya referred to as Jivarmukti, liberation while alive. Amma to the first Tarnandamaya said, Jivarmukti is not something to be attained after death nor is it to be experienced or bestowed upon you in another world. It is a state of perfect awareness and equanimity, which can be experienced here and now in this world, while living in the body. Having come to experience the highest truth of oneness with the self, such blessed souls do not have to be born again. They merge with the infinite. Bhajans, Amit to the first Tarnandamaya has recorded more than 1,000 bhajans, or devotional songs in 35 languages. She has also composed dozens of bhajans and set them to traditional ragas. Regarding devotional singing as a spiritual practice, Amma to the first Tarnandamaya says, if the bhajan is sung with one-pointedness, it is beneficial for the singer, the listeners, and nature as well. Later when the listeners reflect on the songs, they will try to live in accordance with the lessons enunciated therein. Amma to the first Tarnandamaya has said that in today's world, it is often difficult for people to attain deeply focused concentration in meditation. A person can be aided in reaching this level of concentration with bhajans. Charity work, embracing the world, Amma's network of charity organizations, provides food, housing, education, and medical services for the poor. This global network exists in 40 countries around the world and has built and or supported schools, orphanages, housing, and hospitals throughout India. In the United States, the organization has provided soup kitchens and hot showers for the homeless, books and hospital visits for prison inmates, and support for victims of domestic violence. The organization also raised $1 million in aid for Hurricane Katrina victims. The hospital located on the territory of Amas Ashram in Kerala offers medical care on a sliding scale, allowing people to pay what they can afford. This is often a minimal percent of the total medical cost. Equals tsunami relief equals, following the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami, the organization provided food and shelter to thousands of people, especially in areas where Indian government aid was inadequate. Equals sanitation projects equals, Enrita Nandameo's organization has been cleaning the Pampa River and Sabarimala Temple pilgrimage site annually since 2012. Clean the Ganges program, on September 11, 2015, Enrita Nandameo donated $15 million USD to the government of India's Namami Gange Clean the Ganges program for the specific purpose of constructing toilets for poor families living along the Ganges River. Toilet Construction on September 27, 2015, Enrita Nandamayari pledged that her NGO would dedicate the value of another $15 million USD to toilet construction and other sanitation efforts specifically in the Indian state of Kerala. Controversies equals Book by Srini Pachathanam equals, Srini Pachathanam, the Kerala-based head of the Indian Rationalist Association, wrote Matha Enrita Nandamayari, Sacred Stories and Realities, a controversial critique first published in 1985. The author claimed that all the miracles of Amma to the first Tarnandamaya were falsified. It was further written that there had been many suspicious deaths in and around her ashram that required police investigation. On August 9, 2002, Dishabhimani, 
a Malayalam daily newspaper owned by the Communist Party of India, published a similar account, demanding investigation into the same deaths Pat Hathanam found suspicious. On September 24, 2002, Dishab Shabhamani officially apologized for the report, publishing an article titled Report that Suspicious Deaths had written and a Mary Matha growing was incorrect. The article stated, we now state with conviction that there was nothing suspicious about deaths that happened in the math. Some of the deaths mentioned in the article did not even take place at the math. The article went on to explain that relatives of the deceased had personally contacted D. Shabimani in order to correct the misinformation conveyed in the original article. In several cases, the editors noted the relatives had contacted D. Shabimani to explain they were at the bedsides of elderly kin who had died of natural causes with no suspicious aspects regarding the passings. In 2004, the Kerala state government sanctioned criminal prosecution of Pat Thithanam, the owner of the publishing company, and the printer of the book on grounds that religious sentiments had been offended and for the libelous statements in the book. The order followed directions from the Kerala High Court to the Home Department for considering an application by T. K. Ajahn, a resident of the Mata Alma to the first Tarananda Mayor Math. CPI leader, Thangamam Balakrishnan protested the move against Pachathanam. Equal source of foreign aid equals, in June 2007, Shane Tainu Ray wrote into Helka Weekly that armor to the first Tarananda Mayor Math, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, Baba Ramdev, and other NGOs and religious organizations had large annual turnover of INR crores. In June 2007, Novelist Paul Zachariah wrote on Tahelka that armor to the first Tarananda Mayor is free from the typical scrutiny on money that is foreign connections. In May 2008, the president of Kerala Yukthivadi Sangam, Ukulainathan, urged the state government to conduct an inquiry into armor to the first Tarananda Mayor's assets. He said the sources of her income and its utilization should be investigated. In June 2008, Writer Sukhul Matsika demanded the state government to probe the source of foreign aid received by her organization. He said Amritan and Amari was being used as an instrument by vested interests around her. He alleged that her sources of income are suspicious. Equals allegations by Gail Treadwell equals, in 2013, Gail Treadwell, a former disciple of Ahmed to the first Tarananda Mayor, self-published a memoir of her 1980-99 tenure in armor to the first Tarananda Mayor's ashram. She made some allegations in this memoir as well as media interviews which preceded and followed the release of the book. The allegations, including the claim that Treadwell was physically assaulted by armor to the first Tarananda Mayor, have not been substantiated. Both armor to the first Tarananda Mayor, and representatives of her ashram denied the allegations saying that they were untrue and were aimed at exacting revenge for unfulfilled desires. In an interview in April 2014, Ahmed to the first Tarananda Mayor spoke in depth about the incident, saying, Even now, Amma is only filled with love for that daughter. I am praying that virtue and goodness come. Time will shine forth the truth. Attacks In August 2005, Ahmed to the first Tarananda Mayor was attacked by a man named Pavithran. He was sitting with other followers praying and singing in front of Arma to the first Tarananda Mayor. He then rushed to Arma to the first Tarananda Mayor with a knife, but was overpowered by a group of disciples. Amritananda Mayor's disciple Swami Amritaswayupananda Parai said Pavithran was of unstable mind. Amritananda Mary, who forgave Pavithran, said, All those who are born will die one day. I am going ahead keeping this reality in mind. I will carry on. I will continue to give darshan to the devotees coming here to meet me. On August 1, 2012, a 25-year-old Lul student from Bahor, Seishnam Singh Man, attempted to barge onto the podium of armor to the first Tarananda Mayor at her ashram in Kolam. According to police, he was screaming and reciting words in Arabic. He attacked security guards and then was overpowered by devotees, who handed him over to the police. Awards and Honours, 1993, President of the Hindu Faith, 1993, Hindu Renaissance Award, 1998, Karen Sher International Humanitarian of the Year Award, 2002, Karma Yogi of the Year, 2002, 
Gandhi King Award for Nonviolence by the World Movement for Nonviolence at 2005, Mahavir Mahatma Award, 2005, Centenary Legendary Award of the International Rotarians, 2006, James Parks Morton Interfaith Award, 2006, The Philosopher Saint Sri Nainswara World Peace Prize, 2007, La Prix Signer Copyright Marva Copyright Rita Copyright. 2010, The State University of New York awarded AMA an honorary doctorate in Humane Letters on May 25, 2010 at its Buffalo campus. 2012, AMA featured in the Watkins list of the top 100 most spiritually influential living people in the world. 2013, Awarded first Vishweratna Puraskar by Hindu Parliament on April 23, 2013 at Thiruvananthapuram, 2013, awarded proclamation on behalf of the state of Michigan to AMA commemorating AMA Euro unregistered trademark S 60th birthday, the official proclamation describes AMA as a true citizen of the world and recognizes AMA Euro unregistered trademark S charitable works worldwide. 2014 chosen as one among the 50 most powerful women religious leaders by the Huffington Post. Positions, Founder and Chairperson, Marta Alma to the first Tarananda Mayamaf, Founder, Embracing the World, Chancellor, Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham University, Founder, Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences, Parliament of the World's Religions, International Advisory Committee Member, President Swami Vivekananda's 150th Birth Anniversary Celebration Committee, India, Member, Elijah Interfaith Institute Board of World Religious Leaders. Publications and Documentaries, Armour to the First Tarnandamaya's Disciples have transcribed her conversations with devotees and spiritual seekers to create approximately a dozen books of her teachings known as Awakened Children. The addresses she has delivered at various international forums have also been published in book form. Beginning in April 2011, a bi-weekly message from Amma to the first Tarananda Mayor has appeared in the lifestyle section of the Express Buzz Sunday supplement of the New Indian Express newspaper. She also writes a regular blog in the spiritual publication Speaking Tree. Various documentaries have been made about her, 1999 River of Love a documentary drama on the life of Amechi, 2000 Louis Theroux's Weird Weekends A Euro Indian Gurus, 2005 Darshan, The Embrace A Euro directed by Jan Kounen, 2007 In God's Name A Euro directed by Jules Clack Copyright Men Nordit and Thomas Gar Copyright Dow Copyright on Nordit. Notes References, Amma, Healing the Heart of the World by Judith Cornell, Messages from Amma, In the Language of the Heart by Janine Kanan. Getting to Joy, A Western Householder's Spiritual Journey with Amma by Karuna Poole. Further reading, Warrior, Maya. Hindu Selves in a Modern World. London, Routledge Curtson. ISBN 9780415339829. Hamilton, Jeffrey A. 1989. An Analytical Treatment of the Movement, from an Academic Perspective. External Links, Official Website. Embracing the World